Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michaela Ladwig, and I'm a third year nursing student here at Heston. And it is such a joy to be here today because I have the opportunity to give testimony to the glorious works of God in my life. I get to look back on my time here at Heston up to this point and see how graciously and creatively my Heavenly Father has been making a way where there was no way. Thank you all for giving me an opportunity to do that today. I've known for years now that I wanted to serve in the medical field and that I wanted to work in a place where I could serve the poor. I think that this desire and calling stemmed partially from the environment I grew up in. My parents worked for World Impact, an inner city mission organization, for a large part of their adult lives. This calling involved living among the urban poor and helping plant churches in various poverty-stricken cities across the United States. When I was in junior high, World Impact began their mobile medical clinic ministry. The mobile clinic drives around to different low-income neighborhoods in Wichita and provides free medical care for people who have no insurance. The moment I heard about this ministry, a little flame was lit in my heart and has been steadily growing since that day. A flame of desire to serve the poor through being a vessel of God's healing power and unconditional love. Throughout the years, I have pondered being a doctor, a dentist, a physician's assistant, but God put nursing directly in my path, and I simply knew that it was right. Since that day, God has confirmed, confirmed this calling over and over again by working miracles and putting all of the pieces in place. One of these miracles was bringing me to Heston College. Whenever I tell someone that I go to Heston College, the response is usually, huh? I have never heard of it. And that was about my response when I was told about the college for the first time. Dan Harrison, the women's basketball coach, was recruiting me. Up until that point, I did not think I was going to be able to play college basketball, but when Coach Harrison told me about the absolutely, <laughs> about the amazing nursing program here, I felt like God had handed me a cup overflowing with blessings. I was being offered the chance to follow God's call in my life to become a nurse, but also an opportunity to play the sport that I loved. This all seemed too good to be true until my parents and I looked at the cost of going to college here. We've never had very much money, but thanks to the great provider, there has always been enough. My parents told me that if Heston College was where I was supposed to be, then all would be provided. So we looked into financial aid and were blessed far beyond what we had imagined with various scholarships and financial help. It's because of those gifts that I was able to begin my new season here at Heston College. During my time here at Heston, my desire and excitement to be a nurse has grown immensely. A beloved mentor of mine once told me something that I will never forget. She said, the kingdom of God is everything you never knew you always wanted. I'll say that again. The kingdom of God is everything you never knew you always wanted. During my first semester of nursing school, I finally understood this little phrase for the first time. I was at clinical and a patient had just had an accident. As I was cleaning up urine off of the floor, this huge wave of joy and peace and affirmation swept <laughs> over me. <laughs> and I remember smiling from ear to ear and not being able to stop. I knew at that moment, crouched down on the floor, that there was nothing I would rather be doing. There was nothing that could make me feel more fulfilled or happy. I knew that it was because I was living in the will of the Father. The kingdom of God was in that place, and there is no place I'd rather be. I tell you this story to convey to you the truth that when God calls his children to do something, he will not change his mind. He will do whatever it takes to make his dreams for our lives become reality. The wonderful thing is that my lack of faith or trust in his power has absolutely no effect on his ability to fulfill his purpose for me and to, do, and to do mighty things in my life. There have been many times over the past couple years when I have allowed Satan to fill my heart and mind with lies. He says things like, you will never be a good nurse. You make way too many mistakes. Or think about the loans you're going to have to pay after you graduate. You can't do missions work if you're paying off loans. But it is in those times that my Abba Father breaks in and pours truth and identity into the wounds brought on from Satan's lies. He reminds me that I am a beloved daughter. He lifts up my chin and says, Michaela, I believe in you. If God believes in me and the dreams that he has placed in my heart, then who am I not to believe? If God is for me, who can be against me? I am at Heston College to become the very best nurse I can be, but more importantly, to become the best Michaela I can be. Each day, as I interact with people, listen to lectures, and spend time with my Heavenly Father, I learn about my identity as a beloved daughter of God. And in learning that, I learn to see other people as sons and daughters as well. That is what is most important about me being here at Heston College. And without all of you, I would not be here learning and growing. Because all of you daily say yes to God and freely bless others with all that God has blessed you with, 
me and other students like me are able to follow the call of God in our lives. I want you all to know that you are a part of something very big. You are helping to bring the kingdom to dark places. Thanks be to God. In closing today, I'm going to read a word of praise from the book of Jude. <clears throat> now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.